Hello Sagittarius, welcome to a bonus love reading for November 2020. You were the most views out of the fire sign, so we're going to do a short and quick love reading for you. It's a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Sagittarius watching, so just keep that in mind. All right, let's see what we have for you, spirits, angels, guides. What messages do you have for Sagittarius regarding love for November 2020? What messages do you have for Sagittarius regarding love November 2020? What does Sagittarius need to know regarding love? Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. This is a card for me as a reader about, uh, you know, some sort of emotional attachment that could even be bordering on unhealthy. Okay, so let's see. For Sagittarius spirit, what do we need to know? For Sagittarius regarding love. In November 2020. What do we need to know? Sagittarius regarding love. What do we need to know for Sagittarius regarding love? Let's see. Two of coin, Knight of Pentacles. Wow. So, an offer that could be coming here uh, your way, Sagittarius, that is slow and set. Wow, the high priest is reversed. Someone could be expressing how they feel in, in a surprising way, or this is like something that's going to come to the light, some sort of revelation here. Bottom of the deck, I have the eight of swords. So this could be somebody that is fearful over revealing how they feel or thinking how they're going to do this, you know. Overthinking, possibly. Tell me about the two of coin. What's this about? Going back and forth, weighing the pros and cons, juggling, multitasking, having a lot of obligations, responsibilities, being very busy. Give me a lot of things. Oh. Tell me about the two of coin, please, for Sagittarius. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy there. This is about wanting something. Page of Pentacles reverse. Interesting. Tell me about the two of coin. Five of wands reverse. Bottom of the deck, ace of coin reverse. Ace of wands. Okay, so this person's going back and forth, literally. Like, <laughs> this is someone who is like, I can't really commit. I can't really commit, but I want a passionate new beginning or, I, or I'm very motivated. I'm very passionate about this, um, but I don't have the resources or I don't have the finances or, you know, maybe this is something that was a connection in the past where there was some sort of broken commitment. I feel like with the Page of Pentacles reverse and the Five of Coin, it's almost like they want to overcome um, some sort of drama or conflict or fighting that has happened between you. Um, perhaps there's a lot of people involved or surrounding this connection. And it's almost like this King of Wands wants to handle this, right? Like, how do I stop the fighting? you know, but I feel like they're so busy or they have so much on their plate that they can't even give you something small, even though that's kind of the goal here. Like they can't even commit to you at this time, even in a small way. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Four of Coin. Yeah, they're holding back in some way. 
Uh, and that's probably why they need to express how they feel. Maybe this is something that where the person that you are dealing with, you haven't had that conversation that could really propel things forward or move things forward. Yeah, there's like clarity that needs to happen here with the sun. Um, maybe there's some sort of good news happening or something. Um, maybe your person becomes motivated by how happy you make them. Tell me more about the Knight of Pentacles, please. The Knight of Pentacles is someone that likes to do things right, but they're also very slow. Five of Cups. Okay, so I feel like this person... Ooh, I got the lovers at the bottom of the deck here. Gemini energy. I feel like this person is worried about making the wrong choice, or perhaps um, they're just very regretful over something that happened in the past. It's almost like they still think about what happened between you. This could also be you. You could be wanting to extend an offer to someone, express how you feel to someone, uh, Sagittarius. But I, I'm also picking up here, it's like, it's like if this is someone that's bringing you an offer, they're almost like scared that you're going to reject them. And this is an offer that, that's about a partnership, a union. Why is this five of cups here? Why is the higher font reverse here? Why is the Five of Cups here? Taurus energy with the higher font reverse. A broken commitment. Tell me about the Five of Cups. It's almost like Page of Swords reversed. This person could regret the fact that they missed an opportunity with you in the past. That they weren't open about how they felt in the past. There's regret here. Disappointment about something that wasn't said or someone that didn't tell you everything about something to do with a broken commitment. If this is resonating for you, Sagittarius, please let me know in the comments how it's resonating for you. And you know what I just got? It's like this person thinks if you were to reject them, they wouldn't blame you. Okay. Tell me about the High Priestess reverse. Why is the High Priestess? Judgment reverse. Five of Swords. Why is the High Priestess reverse? Oh no. I feel like whatever. Okay, so this is not somebody opening up here then. I feel like, actually it could be. Oh man, what in the world? Two of Cups reverse at the bottom. Sagittarius, what I'm seeing here, it's like, I, I see two potential situations. The first is that someone in the past got caught deceiving you. It was a bad judgment call. They, they caused a lot of heartbreak, a separation, possibly for some of you. Yeah, there was a lot of heartbreak here. And there you are, Sagittarius. It, it completely destabilized a connection. Um, I feel like this is someone that possibly was juggling two people more than two people and you probably caught them um and now they want to come in with an offer but they know that there's something you know that's probably why there's something a little bit unhealthy here because they know that if you were to reject them it, you would be like completely in the right they have a lot of regret over what happened I feel like the ball is in your court here. I feel like they're going to express how they feel and make a romantic gesture, but you are probably going to reject them or uh, give them hell for it. <laughs> Another thing I'm seeing here with the high priestess reverse, it's almost like this person is going to reveal something to you, how they feel possibly here, express how, their love. And I feel like... Um, I feel like you're, you're, there's going to be conflict because of that. That's going to cause a lot of heartbreak. Uh, someone might say something that they regret or might, you know, cause more trouble than than they meant to cause. Right. Like I feel like this offer is to heal something, but I feel like the opposite will happen. So how is this going to 
end? What is the potential outcome in the near future for Sagittarius spirit? What is the potential outcome here for Sagittarius and this other person in the near future? What's the potential outcome here in the near future? For Sagittarius. Two of Swords reverse. Oh. The Emperor. Aries energy and Hermit reverse Virgo energy. Yeah, someone wants to take control restabilize a situation bring something back into order but with the hermit reverse i feel like this is someone who maybe their approach won't be the best maybe they didn't really think things through like they were they probably ghosted you in the past or aren't very good about communicating like they're not the best communicator um tell me about the two of swords reverse the emperor is not really someone that expresses emotions you know they they tend to be very um cold in the sense of like their emotions don't influence anything that they do why is the two of swords here reverse nine of wands reverse i feel like someone's just very exhausted like this is a connection probably with a lot of baggage with trust issues here yeah there could be a third party situation where someone here, um, they have refused to make a decision about an interference, or perhaps they took too long to make that decision. Why is the hermit reverse? Justice reverse. See, like this is somebody that with Libra energy with justice reverse, like they're not able to really bring back balance it could be that they don't um, they aren't able to really face the truth of their actions or aren't able to really communicate honestly perhaps because they don't have the courage this person could have ran away from facing you Sagittarius or like has has avoided having a certain conversation with you I feel like I don't really see this be coming back into balance until someone here uh, switches their approach you know and unfortunately I feel like this person probably that's why there's a little bit of unhealthiness attached to this is like they don't even they're not making the right choices with judgment reverse so be very careful if this person approaches you or speaks to you expresses how they feel um, you know make sure your intuition is nice and strong so that you can figure out exactly what this person's intentions are because I feel like they're holding back something here. They're not telling you everything when they do talk to you um, because they're, they're afraid of upsetting you or they're, they know that if, if they were to tell you the whole truth, you might run away from them or not listen to them. So that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for checking out this bonus reading. Uh, please leave me a comment, like this video, and subscribe if it resonated for you. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in another video. Take care.